the West is leading Ukraine down the primrose path. And the end result is that Ukraine is going to get wrecked. And of course, the Ukrainians are playing along with this. And the Ukrainians are almost completely unwilling to compromise with the Russians and instead want to pursue a hardline policy. As I said to you before, if they do that, the end result is that their country is going to be wrecked. Russia is a great power, and it has absolutely no interest in allowing the United States and its allies to take a big piece of real estate of great strategic importance on its western border and incorporate it into the West. This should be hardly surprising to the United States of America. We have made it clear that the further expansion eastwards is unacceptable. Is this not clear? It's not us who are deploying different missiles on the border of the United States. No, 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 it's the United States are deploying their missiles right on our frontier, right uh, in our backyard. Are we being excessive in our demands? We don't want any more missiles. We don't missile systems or new weaponry right in our backyard. Can you imagine 20 years from now, a powerful China forming a military alliance with Canada and Mexico and moving Chinese military forces onto Canadian and Mexican soil and us just standing there and saying, this is no problem. We're all 20th, 21st century people and worrying about Chinese forces there is what 19th century people like Vladimir Putin worry about. Of course, that's not going to happen. What would their reaction be if we were to come and on the border between the United States and Canada or their border with Mexico? deployed a range of our own missiles. So nobody should be surprised that the Russians were apoplectic about the idea of us putting Ukraine on the western side of the ledger. The policy that I'm advocating, which is neutralizing Ukraine and then building it up economically and getting it out of the competition between Russia on one side and NATO on the other side is the best thing that could happen to the Ukrainians. Whatever you think about Putin, think he's the worst monster since Hitler, they still have a case and it's a case that no Russian leader is going to back down from. They cannot accept the Ukrainian uh, move of the current government to join uh, NATO. There is a very natural settlement to this issue, a strong declaration that Ukraine will be neutralized. It won't be part of any military alliance.